So I think it is substantial piece. Mm -hmm. um, it, mi it might be a few thousand dollar actually sold. So used one I see, sold one here, one for 50, they took a best offer, another one 75, it sold one for 34, kind of all over the place. I also, do you Oh, guys? don't cry, you're making me tear up no, too, yes. don't do that. <laughs> hey guys, Pete over here, so we're gonna start again with the package. This one comes from Michael, it's been here for a couple weeks, and I meant to open this in a last video and I forgot. What you sent, Michael? Oh! Look at this. I know what this is. I seen this on a video before. Uh, like I guessing it's a mouse trick. It, it is. On a five gallon it is. Maybe. That's that's what you exactly do. You put it on a five gallon bucket, bucket, and they climb and they go in, they fall and they can't get out. So, <laughs> <laughs> honey, see, you're not doing your job really good. Yes. We had to get a trap, Michael. Thank you so much. Yeah, he says all you need is a five or seven gallon Home Depot or whatever you know bucket. I enjoy your videos. Well, appreciate it. Thank you very much. So kind of you. Uh, now the spring is coming, so the mice are going to be going out, but definitely we can use this in the fall when they're coming back in. <laughs> so cool. All right, let's get into today's video. Probably not. I, I overall I like Manly Monroe, but the plates itself, they just don't sell. I'm just clearing out my you know? buddy's dad's basement. You know, this is Same thing with, with, with cards. I mean, these are all, uh, like a Harlem Globe gyres. Yeah. That. See, I, I try to concentrate only on stuff that it's actually graded. It's so hard because out of this box, there might be one or two cards that are actually worth something and the rest of them are 99 cents cards, you know? I just don't want to deal with that. Then what are these? Well, at least this one looks like it, but... That's a famous photo right there with no certificates. I think this is going to be a no no. Yeah. White Sox tickets from what year? 82. 82, huh? <laughs> World Series, $18. Right. <laughs> <laughs> old Comiskey. Yeah. I just picked up an old Comiskey seat the other day from like 100 years ago. Uh, here, this is a receipt. Les Wolf Sports for what? Ron what? Postcards, I guess? Yeah. 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 He gave me a couple boxes. He said, here, take all this. <laughs> so. This was back 2015, so that not, not that old. So 300 bucks for something here, the first one on the list. I can't read that. What does it say? Ron Lee Set. 391 pieces. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably not this thing. I mean, this is yeah. Look lonely. <laughs> Look lonely. Okay. Oh, we got Pip. We got Pippin. We got Pip. We got Garnet. Another Garnet. Pill. I'm kind of curious what Pippin is bringing. These are all 1979 cards, good Yeah, but I'm gonna be honest, those cards I'm not gonna be interested. It's just it's just too much stuff like that out there for me to deal with this. You know, you gotta really know what you're looking at and... Man, Pippin is not bringing anything. Five dollars, seven seventeen, two twenty-four. What? 
who would even want to sell this online for two dollars and 24 cents on auction that's ridiculous you charge more for shipping than it's worth let's see if there's anything else maybe there's mj in here baseball players here too Aikman, Marino. What is Marino doing? Does Marino bring any money as a little bubble head? Let's see. The whole four dollars. Yeah, I think you know what? I'm gonna say no on these, man. It's just not enough money to be made on these little bubble heads. You know what I mean? They're, they're just selling for six, seven, eight. The most money was like a 9.91 one. I don't want to deal with this. I'm sorry. Sorry, my friend. All I'm right. gonna pass on all no this worries. stuff. Sure Next time, know. all right? <laughs> Keep trying. Take care. <laughs> it's protected by brush service. Where? Ma Ma Makwango, Wisconsin? Yeah. Where is that? I don't know. My buddy lives in Union Grove, and he's got a 1950 Ma Pontiac and a 48. He just bought a 48 car. Okay. Really cool. To yeah. know, real no, I like that shirt. That's yeah, he cool. gave me this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, cool. we used to be with Jesus together. Yeah. Very cool. You just use for like reading at night and or you're... spotting or can you <laughs> no or, or can you can you really look at the stars and I think moon, you can I, you know it just depends on if it if it's enough light for that to pick it up you know yeah because this is your spotting right yeah so you first you look at this and then you get the general you, you, spot you set it up on a tripod and then you start looking at this so, yeah. so. You want it? Possibly. I'm gonna throw it in my stack. Oh, your stack. Okay. Well, yeah. then keep go look. <laughs> Get a bigger stack. Get a bigger stack. <laughs> Hold on. You can put there. So you're on yeah, right there. So. Okay. So 1921. I have three record players, so I figured get rid of this one. See <laughs> okay. I no. thought you meant you had yeah. three in the car. Arrows, no, no right I just I have three in total. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. What brand? BSR. Is it still fully functional or? Yes, it is. I actually tried it out before I came here. I think I'm gonna say no. I think I got too many of these oldies right now. I'm looking for something a little bit more modern, man. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, no problem. Okay, I mean, no attachments or nothing, just I, I, I don't have the attachments anymore. I okay. brought it to a friend, but. I mean, Runs good? Yeah, I mean, okay. it was like brand new. I never really used it. This is an Airsoft CO2 powered. I have an extra cartridge. I just, I bought it, was gonna get into it, never did it. <laughs> it feels almost like real. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's kind of crazy how they make them now. I know. <laughs> I bought that one because I, I liked it. It was the blowback, everything. Yeah, uh, so. Use I'm, it maybe I'm once. I'm not familiar with that brand, so I'm actually gonna look that up. Yeah. What, what did you pay for it originally, do you know? You I remember? I say it was probably around 180 when I paid for it new. Okay, so what do I do? So one fire without? No. Yeah, with once without, you have okay. once you have the BBs and everything in there, then it'll okay. it'll rack and then it keeps going. So used one I see sold one here one for fifty. They took a best offer. Another one seventy five. It sold one for thirty four. Kind of all over the place. Yeah. What are you thinking? What do you what do you want to get out of it? If I could get like twenty or thirty, I'd be happy with it. So 25 bucks, okay, on this. I'm good this with little trim, 10 bucks. That's all I could do on it, I'm you know? That. Yeah, so that's good. I'm good with that. 35 yeah. bucks for yeah. both? All right, awesome. Let me have your ID, I'll write you up. Sweet. Yeah, just stuff followed me from place to place, so <laughs> if I can get rid of it, it works out for me. Sweet. All right. 20, 35. All awesome. Right. Thank Appreciate you, sir. You. Have You're a good welcome. one. So I'm setting one coin aside here. I'm testing coins, coins on my Sigma machine to see of purity of silver if they're good. And the way it works, when I set a coin in here and the eye shoots through the coin and if both of those green lines and arrows align it with the green, that means the coin, mainly the upper part, check mark for, for silver content. These are or Morgan or Peace Dollars. This is good. These are all the coins I'm checking between 1900 and 1945. This one is slightly off. Let me... So it's kind of bouncing. It's right on the edge, but I would pass that for a good coin. 
so upper part the lower part is on yellow so that's passing too now here's the coin that i know for a fact that it's fake and not good because we tested before i put that in nothing is even close to green both arrows are in blue so this is a fake coin and it's got like this discoloration a little bit of of tarnishing mark 1921p but it's definitely not passing this one has a little bit tarnish of green from the plastic this one is passing let's see if anything else we will find that it's not good this is passing passing and this one is right on the edge but if it's in a thick yellow it will still pass wow so i got another coin here that it's completely way off let me flip it around so we got another bad one here this one's good right on the edge but it's passing this one is in great condition passing and with flying colors 1921 that one is good oh i got a calibrate machine is calling me to calibrate so out of this whole bundle i got two of them they're very questionable i can tell that there's something wrong with this coin it just doesn't have i'm gonna open this up i have two coins side by side here i'm gonna do a sound test um one of them is real one of them is fake i'm gonna bounce this one first I can't they tell. Sound, yeah. They sound perfect to me. One more time. Maybe this one has a slight different, like more crispier bounce. Yeah, like very sharp tone. This one is more right to the punch. And this is the one that it's not good. Yeah, this is the one that it's not good, and this is the one that has a crisper sound, and this one is perfect. Got a fakie. And I got another one here that doesn't come in good, and it's got somebody's like engraved initials, but they're, are they engraved? They almost feel like they're up in the air. Like they, yeah, they engrave it, NMT in it. Hmm. So that's the fake one for sure. That's a real. That's the old one with the initials. That one sounds good. It's definitely telling me that it's bad. It's a bad coin. So I got two bad ones here. Well, the machine is paying off. It's it's working. It doesn't have one. Yeah, it doesn't have any. I kind of peeked on it underneath too. I mean, it's got tiny little like white yeah. spots. Those can be really touched up quickly yeah. with like a marker or something. It's cool. Uh, it's made out of clay or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's I mean, not super heavy. Um, 99 still good. Player. I wish it was kind of like Botkiss or, or Lacquer too, I but know. you know, Hampton know. Is, is still good. You have any idea how, how your dad acquired? Like, <sighs> is it something, some kind of gift shop he walked into, bought it? It, could, it was or, probably or, something or, like that. Yeah. Something like that. Or Do you remember years ago too he had, which he did sell before he passed, the marble, they were marble of... Um, the stadiums he had those he had sold those before he passed um but he had, we had a basement growing up with sports stuff full, full of different things yes yes i mean it's different because it's it's like he's the mean yes, like he's the, he's the mean guy over yes. here um how much money this is gonna bring i don't know well it, it is it, local it's, so it's very good for it's my a shop bit of sadness i'm not if you wouldn't make a fair offer in I <laughs> no, I, I, I'm trying to think in my head what I can honestly get out of it. It would I definitely would, look cool on somebody's like coffee I, table next to. Oh, bunch if of I other. was coming in here, I mean, if I saw to pay two hundred or two twenty-five for it, would you? I mean, not that that's what I'm gonna get, but or 
So it's a very cool piece, but I don't think it's two hundred dollars. No, you don't. Think. I don't think so. Now here's the thing. <coughs> If the team is playing excellent I'm and they're going to Super Bowl, I'm getting $300 right. out of this guy. Well, right now, as it stands. How about. Uh, <laughs> you want me to. How about. Shoot me a number. 65 Okay. I was going to say 50 bucks for this okay. when you originally, like, uncovered. Right. Well, I, like, $50 item here. I've watched and, a lot of these shows in this. It's a, it, it brings a lot of sadness. So I, I really want I'll, it on my I'll house. do 60 Thank let's you. kind of meet in the middle. Okay, right, let's, let's. It does. That's, that's I love it. Deal. It just brings a lot of sadness. Okay. So I'm ready to get it rid of it. Okay. I also. Do you oh, buy don't cry. You're making me tear up no, too. Yes. Don't do that. Do you, do you buy. This was my son's when we were cleaning the basement. I don't. Do you buy like things like this? I mean, I do. Uh, it's not exactly military, but still no, camouflage for a hunter and stuff. Let me scan this really quick. See I what just they don't want to do Facebook. There's, I'm tired of Facebook Marketplace. They're a pain. I want to so say So here's one used one that sold for 27 bucks. Here's a new one that sold for 60. You know, same one with the tags. How just about like yours. 15? I think that's very fair. Okay. I think I'll get 30, 35 bucks okay. out of this. So right. I'm okay with that. All right. Yeah, that's good. Let me think. You need a driver's license? I do. Yes, please. Either driver license or state ID. Thank you. Your copy. 50, 70, five. Thank okay. you very much. I appreciate you. Thank now, you very much. Now, hopefully they're going to do better this season. Yeah. Ryan, you ready to have a party? Let's have a party. Yeah, let's get some tunes going. It's a little quiet in here. Made in, made in Korea. Do you some music? Yeah. This We're going to play a, some. So I, I seen this on a video before. This is this is a gimmick really. This is nothing special, but it's still kind of interesting and cool of a contraption. So this is a little truck that it has a needle mounted on the bottom of this. And as it drives on an LP record, apparently supposed to play. Uh, you guys will be the judge how well this sounds because so it says like this set it on the angle what I like about this though is you know if you do have a large gathering you know this set it this like is this perfect if you don't have the speaker and this so this is supposed to be like a ice cream truck or whatever it is it's got some decals that come with it there's a big leveler that you go up with it and that turns it on <laughs> See, you can hear every word they're saying. I'm kind of worried that now there's going to be a copyright. Yeah. <laughs> it's got the lights up front. That's crazy. But you can't really make out what it's... Yeah. Something. See, you're not worrying about the copyright. It's so clear. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty cool. So uh, this is Electric Light Orchestra and the song that we played is Telephone Line. <laughs> I did not hear that coming though. But it's still, it's still cool, so we'll play another song. We'll go like this. Did you change the speed? No, I changed the song. Uh, you can see the drums. That squeak sounds like it's doing a burn on it, like. But it sounds also like it's a stock record, like it's the same thing over and over again. What a gimmick. What a gimmick. I have no idea what this thing is worth. Do you have any idea what this... Oh, I didn't even look it up. Yeah, I think we bought it in that big bundle. Oh no, he gave me this as a gift, I think. I don't remember now. It was that big bundle of stuff that I was I buying. I think you bought it when I wasn't here. I don't, I don't know. Pretty cool. I don't even know who makes this. Like, yeah. the I'm hockey poke, hockey pokey. I'm assuming the batteries go back there. Yeah, so yeah, I was yeah. So to you open that so you, up and you open and yeah, Jim and I just took it. Slides in. down and it opens. I opened this before. Nine, oh, okay. nine volt goes in there. There's a lot of technology in that. Yeah. Thing. So, anyway, cool gimmick. Hope you guys liked it. <laughs> So nice, huh? Unbelievable, guys. End of February. I'm just hoping she's not gonna fly away. Get spooked. Nice and warm, huh? Where are you? This is new territory for you. 
Huh? You guys are having fun today. You're having fun? Yeah. Say scammer. Scammer. Hey guys, it's Otto here. Can I get a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm? It will really, really help us out. But I couldn't find anything on that particular design. I but okay. I had a we had a Century grocery store right by my house, and and they sold out the burkots. I don't know that there's many Centuries left. Okay. So that that made there was one guy with a Century <clears throat> truck, but sealed in the box in totally different design. Yeah. So. Yeah, but it's you know people that are nostalgic. So, yeah. This one is totally out of proportion though. Look at the, the, the smokestack, it doesn't even come over like these do. <laughs> but that's how they design it. This is the same style right here. This is a little bit older style, I think. Okay. You know, I think this this is like mid to late 70s. This is like early 70s yeah, truck, even you the know? Box yeah, the yeah. So, yeah. yeah. What do you need to get out of them? Oh, what do you think? Um, Five dollars a piece. <laughs> I take fifty bucks for all three. All three? Yeah. Does that sound fair? I think that's good. Okay. Oh, yeah. I. Yeah. I was gonna say fifteen dollars a piece, forty-five. You know, fifty is is, is good. Okay. Um, this is something that we gotta sell here. I'd rather not ship them. You know, they're, they're cool. Farmer Fleet, Bombard, and we got Century Foods. But initially when he brought it in, I was thinking it's kind of like that mid-grade. It's not like a bad quality one. It's not the best quality I've seen, but yeah. it's, you know. It does have a slot here for the, for the wooden pin to drop so you can take, mm -hmm. you can take the blade out and see if there's any markings on it. Mm -hmm. But a little bit of it, it's still sitting on this side. This side is completely... I had somebody pop it out You once. did? I didn't. They were at my garage sale and they knew mm -hmm. about it. And, and they were they bumped it a couple of times to get the handle off. Right, right. And, and I told them, don't, don't do okay. it. Okay. Because I, I, I didn't know exactly what they were going in there for. I've seen it done on the internet since. Yeah. You know, this was like 15, 20 years ago when they were doing so that. So I, I took a couple here apart. It is cracked all the way through the handle, you could tell. So the binding holds it together. Um, man, but I would love to see if there's actually anything on that handle, I'd, though. I'd be curious myself. The, and this is what, um, eel or uh, stingray skin? I, 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 Underneath I, there. I, I believe, okay. yeah. Yeah, so I didn't know if it was an authentic one from, from Japan that they, they, they made yeah. for, for their use or, or their nostalgia or... It's it's not as um, souvenir type. I mean, actually, touch the blade. Oh, that's that's the blade yeah, is it's sharp. It's oh, super yeah. sharp. Yeah, and it's it's um, been um, formed right. You, yeah. If you look, it, it's got the, yeah, the, the it's the, got the right edging. Yeah. On it. You know what? If you don't mind, I'll pop that pin up. I give a couple shakes, see if it comes apart. Uh, yeah. I took them before. I don't mind. Apart. Did, don't didn't mind. we like have it upside down or something? You tap the back of the blade yeah. or something. Yeah. What? Like that. But first, I gotta take Is, the pin out. So. so if it's got a name, there might be a little more upside to it. Exactly. If we can tie it to, if it's made by real I saw some, manufacturer or a family. Okay. You never know. You might have something here. So. Okay. I think when they knocked it out before, I, I, I went and got them an actual machinist punch. Oh, yeah? Yeah, with, with a flat nose. Yeah, on with it. a flat head, so yeah. you can push it. Better. Yeah. Bring it's it, coming. Or bring it, try going through the other way with it. But sure. There we go. Okay. I got it. Got the well, the handle the should hand. be fairly loose after all that yep. tapping. Oh. All right, we got lots of markings on it. Lots of Japanese markings. So hopefully uh, Google Lens is our friend. Mm -hmm. We'll take a few photos and see if we can come up with anything on this. Cool. Like it. typical writing, Japanese writing, no actual stamp marks from like, like you would have, you know, on, on, on blades, different markings of, of right. companies. So, right. but we'll see what we can come up with right. this, so. So I'm a little bit boggled. I'm seeing all kinds of stuff. When I look closely on this blade, I do see that waving, mm -hmm. you know, on that. So I think it is 
substantial piece. Mm -hmm. um, I, I always suspected you, it might be. You being not that far away in Twin Lakes, you were not even an hour away, no, right? No. Uh, 45 minutes or so. Right. Um, this is not Pond Stars. I don't have an expert coming in and looking at it, but I do know a gentleman actually in a city who's into this type of stuff. Okay. Um, if you don't mind leaving this with me for a little bit, I'll get hold of him. I'll have him come out here, look at it, because it might be actually worth checking this out. Be it, might, it might be a few thousand dollar actually sword. It, yeah. it, it really does. The ones that I'm comparing, that I'm looking at it, um, very, very similar. And some of them, you know, one sold for 15, one sold for 42, one sold for 31. So before I say yes or no, I would like him to check it out and give give his opinion on it. Sure. It's well made. It's got all these markings. Sure. The handle, everything looks original. I don't think, like I said, it's military. It wasn't given to like officers of World War II because of this piece unless this was changed it, but i highly doubt it right i think it fits perfectly i think it's original piece it almost seems like a really good maker um that maybe it's after world war ii because when i look at world war ii swords the the scabbard is, is usually metal yeah and and, and and different but again um what you're proposing um i, I think is reasonable I, I would leave it with you i would I, I would like to check it out i mean the yeah. handle looks old and i I tell you what, when you actually look at closer at this, this is not made by a machine. This is a handmade piece. Hand pierced with a saw, probably a scroll saw. Um, probably, it, it, probably, it's, probably. it's rusted, it's two layers on the inside, sure. which are being held by this ring that holds it together. Sure. So it makes me even think that this might be an older piece than we are actually thinking. Okay. The way the, the, the rust already got hold of this. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because remember, the, the ones that are issued to the military, yeah. like I showed you, they have smaller protective plates for your hand. Mm -hmm. And they're complete solid made of some kind of brass. This is a lot more decorative piece. This is a piece that okay. somebody in a family would give to another you know okay main person in the, a family so the only thing then that that i'll say is um before i leave i'll just go get my phone and i, I want to get a photo of that get and, a photo and, and yeah do some research run, run for yourself to too. And, and then and then we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll yeah we'll get together later on and when when you find something out exactly we'll, we'll see what happens we'll see what happens might yeah. be some upside for both of us um so you're suggesting like what uh what's the term family crest or whatever exactly yes. so yeah it's it passed or, on or even a very reputable maker that it's a, a, a real caliber samurai sword the, then that bumps bumps it up as well and, and i'm not, not gonna put this back on i'll just put yeah the no i'm good with it. that i'll go get the camera very cool right, right, at the right. first glance i thought it was ah, just a cheapy you know but i think we might have something else here it might, it might be a lot more than i'll be right back then i'll go yes, grab my please. camera you got it okay so we'll do a, i'll do a separate ticket on this we'll write it up so this is totally different you know from yes. everything else that we are doing here yeah i think actually on this box i think i'm gonna say no okay. i just don't do good with some of these cars from hot wheels or matchbox unless they're really older mm -hmm. so I, I i think i'm gonna pass on okay so and then uh how about this guy little guy Oh, cool, never open, huh? Still yeah, open. yeah, I, I, have, I, have, like, I have, have like 10 of them. I, well, it's got to... Yes, sir. Do you mind... I'm sorry to interrupt. Okay. <laughs> Do you, I'm coming to you first. Do you mind if I were to step outside of the establishment to look at his Hot Wheels? So when we are done with all this, you guys more than welcome to talk to each other. I'm passing on him. I have no problem with that. When we are done, you can show it off. That's awesome. Maybe, maybe you guys can make a sure. deal. So this has to be pre-unleaded right. uh, gasoline because it's four cars. It's yeah. before that. I'll, so it's 1970 nice probably or before. Okay. Um, when back in the day, they had to put additive in to, for the valve stems. Okay. 
Um, and they, there's ones on eBay, I believe, that are sold for $20. Oh, that's that's what I was going to say for the ghost for about $20. I was looking for, for 10 10 bucks. Yeah. I was trying to figure it out. If you got car guys coming, I'd appreciate it. All yeah. I sell them with the auto. I'll do 10 bucks. Okay. So do do we have any kind of sheet here that I can go off? Um, I jotted it down in my notepad on the computer. It's 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 cool as a steering wheel, right? I mean, it can a wooden handle, but um, as soon as I saw this, when you put it on the counter, I'm like, this is going to one of my steampunk designs or oh, some cool. kind of lamp I'm gonna do. Yeah, yeah. It's either gonna become a base maybe, or actually we'll plant it in somehow with some kind of sure. cluster, Are you doing couple these gauges for your for your own use or no, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing them myself, oh, okay. and I'm gonna be putting them. How good I'm gonna be at it? I have no it's idea. It's fun though. It's fun. I wanna try it. Yeah. I I wanna do something different, little creations. Good for you. If I'll do one a month, I'll do one a month. If I do one a sure. week, I'll. Do whatever time allows me and whatever cool stuff I can find like this to make him. Sure. So that's very, very cool. Alright, so one, two, two ten. So that's for that. Um, and then you can you can show him now whatever here. I'll make another ticket separate for the katana, okay? Okay. Postcard time. 621, 622, 623, 624, 625, 626, 627. 628, 629, and 630. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.